I am going to be painting a picture of Doodle Door today uh, uh, down in beautiful Dorset. So I've got myself got me image marked out on the on the paper. Paper I'm using Bockingford 425 GSM, so it's really heavy. Uh, it's good because it, it doesn't buckle so much. I'm using rough. Um, so it should have a nice texture on it. Paint brushes, I'm using a little variety today. For my big washes, I'll be using this. A Skoda is an Aquario, size 18. So it's got a real big floppy uh, mop to it. And for the, uh, the finer details, I'm going to be using, oh, well, for the main body of the painting, I'll be using an Escoda Perla Synthetico size 12. There you go. Um, I'll also be maybe using a little Just Cheapo size 1 Art Studio uh, rigger and I might use a System 3 round size 0. Oh, I might use a bit of that as well, a little, a little mystifier, and of course, my big hanky. So that's it really, so that's all those bits sorted. First of all, I'm going to give it a good old soak, from the top to the bottom. And I'm going to lift up the highlights that I don't want to be showing, but I want to have like a, an overall cast to this. Except for on this part where my little wave is going to be. So we'll call this step one of the painting. Uh, it's like the main wash, the main the main tone of the whole painting. Right. So firstly, I'm going to decide what kind of mood I want for this so I'm going to use my this is Opera Rose in there a bit of Opera Rose and this one in here is that's a bit of purple I meant to go for this one there which is my French Ultramarine let's go for that first French Ultramarine with a little bit of purple and a bit of Opera Rose I'm going to add a bit more Opera Rose as we come down. I want a lovely warm image this one I add a bit of yellow just to cast over this big rock All right and I will add that upper rose to there I don't really want the blue mixing with the yellow and making a green. So I'm breaking that up with this upper rose. And let's mirror that colour down here at the sea area. Uh, upper rose here as well. And just at the bottom there. We can always lift out bits in a minute, but we don't want to be, we want to, we want some highlighted areas. I'll lift, I'm going to turn it up there, because there's quite, quite a lot of water there. Paint grey just just across there. Now then, across here, I want the sandy colour.
This part here is Queen Acid Rum Burnt Orange. Very. It's a, it's a very, very rich orange colour. And I love, I love it. I love it. Right. Now, there are certain parts of this rock I want to be in highlight, like this edge here. And we'll just lift out bits here and across the top of it but I want this this overall feel of this tone to come through and well and we'll have that coming down there a little bit This is really welling up. I'm going to lift some of that out now with the thirsty brush. Lift some of this out here. There we go. And we'll get a little bit of sandy colour to this part here. All right to the edge. Now we're all really, I want to darken this colour just underneath where the wave is. while all this is still damp. And a little bit of dark shadow colour under there. created by the shadow of the wave and now we'll go back under there with that dark colour and that's good enough I think for the first the first layer lift some of that out here Dry. So the next part we are going to start working on the on the rock itself at low rock cone. So we'll start off here, just give it a, a little base colour. Okay, so now this is um, this is quite dry. 
and uh, because I let it dry naturally initially we've got this lovely granulation that I, I really love um, if we sort of got a hair dryer on that it would probably lost that and uh, it would have been a shame so anyway so boy well, saying that we, we're going to be painting over this part now so at this point we're gonna create a just another shade of, of the same color that I've used in the sea I'm just making it up now and I'm going to add a little bit of for <coughs> rose I just test this on on here first I think that should be fine so near to the beach we've got a darker area where the sea is very much shadowed by this big rock here and we're going to have the light shining through there so we'll just have a little smidgen of sea here Nice and simple, just little strokes there. And as we get a bit closer, these strokes are a little bit more pronounced. Try and join them up if you can. Greeny colour. Create some of these cracks in the rock, the little crevices. We're just using the colours that we've used earlier and it's just it, all it's doing is deepening that wash that we put on. And what I want to do is just emphasise the shape of these crevices and the direction. I'm not trying to copy this rock crevice for crevice otherwise it wouldn't give it any style but what I am doing is trying to convey the direction of these crevices Okay, so all that part's dried now. 
all we've got to do is just let's put a couple of characters in it to give it a sense of size and then we'll then we can sort this part out here as well so for the characters i'm going to use a really fine brush i'm going to use that little uh system 3d of the roundy i usually use that when you do me um acrylics but we can use it for this so i'm just adding a bit of upper rose to this yellow mix just to put some legs there and what is that oh i've got a little bit of red They're a bit far away, so I'm going to make these dark actually. Just to give a sense of distance, really, and the scale. So I'll run those colours in together, and that's fine. Now, with this brush, I'll Create a little bit of shadow. There you go. And, uh, and <clears throat> now I'm gonna just dry this well out here a second. I want a similar colour to to the sea. But I'm going to make it really light and a bit of upper rose to that. And try and get those colours back. Now, it's a bit like that. Add a bit of that colour to it. And a little bit of that. Still think it's too close to that colour. Should be a little bit more bluey, I think. It's a bit grey. A bit of grey in there. Let's see how that goes. Hmm. It's a bit too dark, that. And it's pulling away. Yeah, I think that'll do on that. Uh, what else can we do? I think that's about it. I was going to put a little bolt going on the back there, but I don't think we really need that. And I'm going to call that finished. So I hope you enjoyed watching that and give it a go yourself. Thank you.